Hey everybody, it's Barbara Rosconi, and I have a question for you today. What is your thought leadership like, and why is it important? On this episode of Growing Social Now News, I'm going to be giving you the highlights from the Thought Leadership Impact Report, the 2024 version from Edelman and LinkedIn. They surveyed over 3,400 business executives globally and came up with some fascinating insights about how impactful thought leadership can be for capturing the attention of potential buyers, even those not actively looking to purchase right now. So in today's uncertain economic climate, a whopping 95%, 95% of business buyers are not actively seeking solutions at any given time. They don't want any new solutions, they're happy where they are. So there's only 5% on the market how can marketers get on everyone's radar? Thought leadership, according to this report, and us here at Corey West Media, may just be the answer. According to the report, 54% of decision makers spend over an hour every week consuming thought leadership content like white papers, webinars, and insights from industry experts. So what are you doing right now? Do you have white papers, webinars, and insights from industry experts? That's one of the reasons we do Growing Social Now News, so we can keep you updated on industry insights as they happen. What's more, nearly three in four view thought leadership content as more credible than traditional marketing, even when evaluating a company. The data shows that strong thought leadership can promote buyers to reevaluate their needs and explore new solutions. In fact, 70% of executives said thought leadership inspired them to research offerings they previously hadn't even considered. For some, it even revealed critical business threats or missed opportunities they were unaware of. So if you're not looking around to see who's the thought leader in your space, then you are gonna be missing opportunities. Your current clients and your prospects are gonna know who they are and you should be in that circle too. That's what we help you with. But thought leadership is not just about getting new prospects. It can also help retain your existing customers and fend off hungry competitors. 70% of C-suite leaders admitted that a competitor's thought leadership made them at least occasionally question their current vendors or suppliers. Shockingly, one in four decision makers said they actually ended or reduced a supplier relationship after seeing a competitor's insightful content. So businesses that don't consistently provide new ideas and guidance risk losing customers to more thought provoking brands. Beyond generating leads, the report shows thought leadership can directly impact sales and pricing, pricing power. Six in 10 buyers who explored new offerings due to thought leadership ended up purchasing from that company. So 60%. And importantly, 70% said they'd be willing to pay a premium for an organization's solutions if they put out high quality thought leadership. However, however, most companies struggle to harness this potential. In fact, only 19% can directly tie leads back to their content and just 29% invite thought leadership brands to RFP processes. How do you crack this code? Well, firms that crack the ROI measurement code and put out craveable insights are gonna be the huge winners. In the report, they give three boxes you need to check to create compelling thought leadership. Successful brands focus on robust data, showcasing a deep understanding of the buyer's challenges and providing actionable guidance, not just fluff. If you check all three of those boxes, data, buyer's challenges, and guidance, you're going to position yourself as an invaluable resource your buyers and clients can't ignore. So there you have it. Thought leadership done right is a secret weapon for boosting demand across the entire funnel, from attracting new prospects to retaining loyal customers and maximizing deal value. For more on leveraging this underutilized strategy, you can check out the report. I'll leave a link in the comments. And if you need help, analyzing your thought leadership. We can do an audit, we can do an assessment, and we can come up with a PR profile, which is your personality and reputation that will match you to the exact right buyers in your target industry and take you from the best kept secret to the one everyone can't stop talking about. 
So thanks again for listening. This is Barbara Rosconi with the latest episode of Growing Social Now News, where we talked about the 2024 B2B Thought Leadership Impact Report from Edelman and LinkedIn. Growing Social Now is brought to you by Quarry West Media, and it's available wherever you like to do your podcast downloads, so add it. And you can also subscribe on YouTube. Thanks, and we'll talk again soon.